Warning! The following video is intended for viewers 13 years and older. Viewer discretion is advised. You're here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. What's going on YouTube? It's I'm Ghost of Sparta and I'm here with another fantastic video for you guys on how to light your reviews. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that want to learn how to do reviews. They want to figure out, hey, what do they use? What camera I need to buy? To be honest, you could start with this, your cell phone. Everybody has a cell phone and you can use it. You know, you just got to learn how to use the settings. Like what is shutter speed? What is aperture? What is ISO? You know, when you're in the camera settings, you need to mess with those so that we can get the perfect, perfect lighting setup or, or perfect shot setup so that way you could do your reviews. You know, it's real easy. I'm pretty sure there's a YouTube video on it to be able to help you with that and you'll be able to figure it out. I mean, for me, I have a very simple light setup for when I do reviews, even for this, you know, talking head portion, I just have two, very, pretty much two lights. I have a, my key light over here to my left, it's about 45 degree angles, which is lighting me this way. And then I have my overhead light, which is my hair light and also kind of light in the background. And get some light from the window too and that's about it that, that's pretty much all it takes and you can see that the lighting is very well you can see me you can see details you can see the table I mean, you can see the back of the cabinet this is my little cabinet that i use that holds all my gear and i'm able to reach for it you know if i have reviews i have sometimes i'll have reviews here in these drawers and then i'll take them out and review them as you know i need to yeah and that pretty much does it so i'm gonna go over a setup for you guys so you guys can see what it's like to set up for a review and you guys can see how it's done how the lighting is set up to making sure you get the best possible lighting you don't need fancy lights i mean i'm gonna try to give you guys options that are as low budget as possible but i mean sometimes you gotta invest in, in yourself a little bit but if you need to go to the dollar store get a couple dollar store lights or if you have lamps at home just try to buy yourself some led bulbs you know try to get them as bright as you can and that should be enough that should be enough to be able to get you going on your review i mean like i said cell phone very important learning the iso learning how to do those features so let, let me go into my setup and then you guys can take a look and see how it can help you and you can get some inspiration Ready? guys so as you guys saw from the b-roll you can see my setup it's pretty simple it's only two lights i have a background i mean i got three lights but i'm not using one of them the whole background three lights and everything set up was i think like 80 90 dollars i'll leave a description below from amazon you guys could take a look at that pretty inexpensive i mean you don't need to spend that much if you're beginning just use some desk lamps anything as long as you change the settings now you can see right here in this scene that it's pretty dark i mean i have some light coming in from my garage windows and that's about it i mean yeah you could technically do the review just as is but you're not gonna be able to get the detail of the figure you're not gonna be able to see the paint or if there's any issues that you want to point out you're not gonna be seeing that like this was like your only setup that you could do you would have to mess with the iso so i'm gonna mess with the iso as it's recording so you can see it get somewhat brighter but as i use iso this is like digitally brightening the photo you're gonna get a lot of noise what i mean by noise is you're gonna see a lot of textures and issues coming from how how much more brighter you go and sometimes it might even get blown out because there's too much light coming from the left so that's probably as bright as you want to go is 400 is where i have it right now and you can get the figure and you could see it very fairly well you could get some of the detail like right here there's some paint issue but uh that's from it you know being posed and things like that so you could be able to get your review off the ground and start doing something about it now another thing is you want to follow i'm going to put it back down to 100 because i'm actually going to put some lights up in a little bit is you want to follow the i forgot i think it's the 180 rule when it comes to filming so if you're filming at 24 frames a second i know i'm throwing a lot of knowledge at you guys but just bear with me it's worth it once you understand what's going on so you want if you're filming at 24 frames a second which most cameras film at even cell phone cameras you could set that 24 frames a second you want your shutter speed which is the little device that takes the picture to be double that rate so if you're doing 24 frames a second that means that in 20 in one second when you count to one the camera has shot 24 individual pictures okay so if you're doing 24 frames a second you need to make sure your shutter speed is at 
48 frames per second some cameras have it at you know 50 some cameras have it exactly at 48 you just want to be as close as to double the frame rate as you can so if you're trying to shoot slow motion you're going to 60 frames per second you need to make sure your shutter speed is at 120 and the reason why we do that is for the motion blur so like if i were to wave my hand like this in front of the camera you could see that it has a nice little blur do it in front of your face get your hand put it to your face and wave it back and forth you're going to see it's not completely focused at all you're going to see that that hand is not focused whatsoever you can see it blurs out so to be able to get that natural blur in the camera that's why you want to follow the 180 rule now uh, we also have aperture that's what lets the lens bring in light most cell phones i don't believe have that uh, you could see um, let me check a look at my at my phone here now some phones you have to go to like pro mode to be able to access all of those features to be able to see so let's take a look at my phone real quick let me turn on the lights so we can all see the because this is what i used to record on no joke i used to record just on this phone so we have the phone here we can see so just using the native camera app you can see there's iso and there's aperture so here it is this aperture helps you with how much light you want the lens to have so it's at f 2.4 see if we can switch that it's a different one no it looks like it stays at 2.4 does it change at all i can't tell but yeah it changed to 2.4 here's the iso here's the other digital brightening it goes up to 800 which is not a lot some cameras have more we have the autofocus here which is what we want and then you have white balance so yeah so most cameras have this setup that you can mess with so that way you can get the proper picture you know the proper brightness and all that good stuff in the picture now there's other apps that you can use to be able to help you tone that in a little bit more tune it in a little bit more um you know so you guys can look at those as well so i turn on the brights the the light the brights i turn on the brights for you guys i made it bright um i turn on the lights for you guys so you can see the difference in the scene so my iso is at 100 which is the lowest you want to keep it at but you can see the figures detail you can see all the colors the natural colors of the figure the painted colors and it looks fantastic now if i were to turn off one of the lights that's just as good as well my iso is still 100 you can still see a lot of the detail now let's switch the light once again, that's still doable. I'm only using one light and there's some natural light coming in on the same way, you know, but if I turn on both, boom, we get a better picture, better quality for the viewer. And I'm only using two lights. Keep in mind, I'm only using two lights for this. You know, I only have, like I said, I have a light to the left. It's about 45 degree. No, not 45 degree. Let's see. Uh, let's say about maybe a little bit more than 90 degrees to it. It's almost on the side. Um, that's actually directly pointing toward it. And then I have a, the overhead light that I have pointing at an angle that's just above it. So that way you guys can see, that way you guys can get a full idea of the light. Now there's other styles of lighting, you know, there's three point lighting, there's hair lighting, there's Rembrandt lighting. Those you guys can look up, but Rembrandt lighting, I'll just give you that one because it's the most famous one, is having the light 45 degree angle from your subject. So it gives like a nice little triangle on the cheek, but it pretty much lights only one side and then the other side's kind of black. You just need to fill that in that's what this light is for on the right hand side or my right your left or whatever you want to call it the figures left but that that way you fill that light in and then you get a nice well-rounded lighting for your subject so then this is how you would do your review you know talk to the microphone like you would any like it was anybody else and state your facts state what you don't like about the figure state what the figure does what you wish the figure does you know all those things and that pretty much is my setup on how to light or my setup for reviewing and how to light the figures i use a very simple setup before all this i used a dy a diy um, photo box that i made it was pretty much foam core you bought by five pieces of foam core you bought the little plastic background uh, not plastic background but it was like a little white construction paper background or a plastic background that you can get at any dollar store and you make a box out of it and on the left and the right side of the box you cut like a nice little square in it and you buy what's it called um tablecloth because it was like a diffuser kind of like how my lights have let me show you so this light right here has a diffuser on it this little piece of paper right here is diffusing the light so that way it gives a nice softer light to the subject without buying 
without buying tablecloth gives you that you would put the tablecloth on the opening that you made on the left and the right side of the little cube that you made or the, the rectangle and you would put that there and then you would have the light shining on that side and maybe have a light on top and you would want to put tablecloth there so that way it diffuses the light now as for backgrounds i mean i don't think it matters what backgrounds i mean i think white is the most the most basic choice for that you want to use white um but you, I've seen people use black, I've seen people use brown, I've seen people use the carpet. I mean, whatever it takes to be able to get your review going and you can be able to get the sharpest image. Using your cell phone, using some camera, looking, learn those settings is the best advice I could give you is learning those settings because that's what's gonna make your image and make everything else look great. All right, guys, to be honest, this is like the third time I did this take. I had an issue with the lighting. I had an issue with the microphone. It was actually facing the wrong way. So I hope you guys like this video. Hit the like button for me kind of showing you guys what's going on, give you guys a little insight and also give you guys some inspiration to be able to make your own videos and you'll be able to capture your own reviews or whatever you want. So I really hope this inspires some people out there to make some great content for YouTube or whatever. If you want to do it for your family, like, hey, look, mom, dad, grandpa, Look what I made, you know. I, I really hope that does inspire some of you. So smash that like button, subscribe guys. I'm gonna try to make this a series. If you guys want me to make more series on like, you know, how to videos of lighting, maybe filming. I mean, I'm not the best. I'm not saying I'm a college scholar and I know everything or I'm a Peter McKenna, which I'm very highly inspired by. Peter McKenna is really awesome. You guys check him out. I mean, I have no affiliation with him. That guy probably doesn't even know I exist but check him out you know he kind of helped me learn all of this you know, you know there's a few others potato jet and a few let me think who else potato jet the crowdly crew check those guys out i'll leave links in the description to them so you guys can check them out um but like i said those guys don't even know i exist i just watched their content it helped me learn a lot on filming so that way i can create content for you guys like i was saying before i'm trying to make this a series so if you guys want to see this hit that like button it's going to show me a lot that you guys want to see this as a series also leave me some comments below let me know if you guys have any questions i like to talk to my uh my subscribers and non-subscribers you know just see leave me some comments i want to hear from you guys and what you thought about this video let me know about an action figure you want me to review whatever just comment i, I really do like to hear from you guys what else i do have some other reviews down the pipeline i want to try to do like a retro review kind of idea i want to know what you guys think about that you know being able to um me think like review old figures I, I bought a box of old figures i didn't know what to do with it i got it for a really good price so i just wanted to see maybe if you guys would like to see that some like 90s toys or early 2000 figures you guys can see how bad the articulation is compared to now and the present i mean it's great the, the difference you can see the difference i can show some comparisons so if that's something you guys are interested in let me know in the comments like this video i mean i can't stress that much i, I want to get as much support as i can my goal is to get to 500 subscribers you know before the end of the month so I, i'm almost there we're like i think almost like 200 and something away or 100 and something away let's just get there guys i know we can do it so i would really appreciate it so until next time <laughs>